welcome to Mallorca in Spain. Diving in, but no life vest. Okay, so good at swimming, aren't you, Bob? So I thought I would give you a bit of a room tour, a little like private pool. We had a cockroach in our room last night. That's the beach. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Mallorca in Spain. We arrived here about four days ago and we've just been really relaxing as a family. But today I thought I would vlog a bit of our holiday, show you what we're getting up to, show you where we're staying and what we're doing together. Um, so I will give you a full room tour a little bit later on. It's quite messy at the moment, but I'll show you where we're staying. And actually we've got like a rooftop pool, which is really nice that we can use. So I'll show you that area as well um, first thing this morning we've just got ready and we're on our way to the buffet my favorite thing about staying in all-inclusive like holidays is that I just don't have to cook and clean the entire time so we're just gonna stroll to the buffet they can choose like all the fruit pancakes toast like whatever they want and we can have a really nice breakfast yeah I'll show you what we get up to basically so this is what I'm wearing today I actually got a new beach bag recently which is great it holds so much stuff and then I'm wearing this little dress I basically brought 22 dresses on this holiday we're here for 11 days I brought um, one for the day and one for the night for every single day okay so we're ready to go we just need to also bring this little tiny inflatable that the boys bought yesterday at the shop uh they're allowed inflatables in the pool here so we've been making like full use of that and yeah they got this like potato crisp packet I know. <laughs> it, ju it just about fits in the lift doesn't it you better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby Kids have got every kind of chocolate dish that there was on the buffet. So for Frey, he just had um, pancakes syrup. with maple syrup and some fruit. So yeah. Good? <laughs> Holiday vibes. No, that's how you eat it. That's my two, two, one, two.
Okay. like this pool it's like the perfect temperature um so yeah we're just on the crisp lilo right now kids are playing ball with a few other kids as well and jj's just here down it he keeps diving in but no life vest okay so good at swimming aren't you bab jj is he eating your goggles yeah but he's not enough <laughs> get some chocolate there he is. <laughs> boarding which he was actually pretty good at because he does gymnastics and stuff but he did fall in quite a few times but he had loads of fun and he was playing with his friend and they were playing ball games and yeah it was just a really nice morning really chilled then we went to the buffet and I've come back to the room and I've just tidied up a little bit so I thought I would give you a bit of a room tour of where we're staying we're staying at a place called the Biomar Hotel it is the Mallorca Sensatory Hotel. We've been to so many Sensatories before. They're just really geared up for families. There's a football pitch here, which, which is always like on the list of things that we like to have at a resort. And I just find them really easy. There's like kids clubs and stuff like that. Like our kids don't actually love kids clubs, but all of those kind of um, services are available at Sensatories. So yeah, anyway, let me show you around. We've got two rooms being a family of five. Although this one room is probably big enough for all of us, but most evenings Matt and like Caleb or Matt and Fraser will go and sleep in the other room. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what it's like. So when you walk in, there is a closet to your right, which is great for storage. Our inflatable is there. It's quite a few mirrors on the walls, which is great when you're getting ready. And then you walk down this hallway to a little living room. So there's like a TV area and two kind of couches which also become beds. So if you're a family, it's perfect for that sized family. And then the main like bedroom area is over here. It's like a huge, super king sized bed. And same in the next room, there's a huge super king bed without the like join in the middle. Um, so yeah, this is like the main sleeping area. There's a little balcony over here, which you can see we've just been using for like drying our clothes and stuff. There's more storage, which is great. Obviously a TV and stuff. And then the toilet is just over here. And there's a really big bath, which is so nice. Because obviously we bath the kids every night. And then I've been in this bath as well. And then we've got like a double sink area. Hello. 
And there's also a shower and a toilet separate, which is really great. But yeah, the best part of the room is up on the roof. So I will take you up there. So we kind of have another balcony just here. And there's also a baby gate, which is pretty handy. So if you have like little ones, you can pull this across. And then there are these little windy stairs that you go up to a rooftop pool. Over there, you can see the coast and the beach. And then also this here is like a nature reserve. So you see like horses, things like that. You also see people biking by. But yeah, we've got quite a nice view of the sea, which I'll show you. I've just come up those stairs and then there's a few more just here. And then you go to your little like private pool. We share this with one other apartment, but we haven't really seen them at all. So it's felt like it's just been ours. It's really good size, lovely temperature. And then you get two beds just next to it here. And then another two beds just there, which are like in the shade. So it's been ideal. As you can see, hopefully you can see the beach just there. And we've seen like parasailing, hot air balloons, stuff like that. But yeah, this is like a bit of a dream because we tend to go to the big pool in the morning and then come and like hang out here in the afternoon. So yeah, this is the hotel. Also these little like rocking toys here and the inflatables were already here as well. But yeah, it's ideal for a family, especially I was thinking if I still had a child that napped, like they could be napping just downstairs and then you could actually sunbathe and enjoy the pool and like have a couple of hours to yourself, which would be really, really lovely. Um, so yeah. So that is a bit of a tour of where we're staying. I would also say at this resort, the food is really good. The weather's been incredible. There's quite a bit for the kids to do. Like Fraser's been playing football every single day. So all of that is really good. The only thing is we had a cockroach in our room last night, which wasn't good, was it boys? Um, but that was the only thing. And I've heard a few other people say the same thing. So I think like they're in this block, um, which is not what you want. Um, but yeah, other than that, really good. So now we thought we would go to the beach. We've actually not gone the whole time we've been here so far. So thought we would go and see what it looks like. What beach is it? Sacoma. Oh, it's Sacoma Beach. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, maybe taking golden. I'll follow only golden. 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 Okay, so we saw the beach and I think we might have set a record for the shortest visit ever in the world. <laughs> Boys went into the sea and Caleb's um, legs were really hurting. I think the sea, like the salt water was like hurting his legs. So, oh look, they want to be in the vlog. There you go. Um, <laughs> it's not, it's not the same vlog. as vlogging in London. No one even looks at you. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to make our way back and we've actually been wanting to hire out these bikes. We've seen people on them. You can get a bike for six people or seven people. So we thought we would like try that as a family. It looks really fun. Yeah, but I meant to say the beach was really nice and it's so close to our hotel, so it's not a big problem. We can just walk straight back, um, but obviously on the way, the boys want to stop at all the little shops that sell the souvenirs. So they're just going into this one here. They love all the little things. Mount Laurel high fives for miles in spring. Rainbow trout and hummingbird. Okay, so this is the bike that we're hiring out for one hour. So as you can see, there's little seats in the front so Jackson can sit there. And then there are four other seats at the back. So Fraser, Caleb, me and Matt, and we can like ride around in this. And we've seen loads of bicycle lanes. So we're hoping it will be okay. And I think this one's actually electric if we don't feel like pedaling, but we're gonna give it a go. So yeah, can't wait. <laughs> 
Oh, that's it. Go to that side, you can do. Kalamalaw, and that was actually really nice. A bit quieter, the wet, like the water is so so blue. Um, so yeah, it was really really fun. And actually today it's a little bit cooler. I think it's like 26, 27, whereas the other days it's been like 31, 33. So it was like a good day to do it. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna make our way back to the hotel now. Do some more swimming. just come back to the room to get bath and showered for dinner we just quickly got ready I'm not even gonna curl my hair because this heat it just means it falls straight out but we're ready now we're gonna go out we've had such a nice afternoon just playing with friends that the kids have made and it's also such a small world I've seen someone here that I went to university with and I literally haven't seen her for about 18 years or so she just came up to me in the pool i was like hi emily and i was like oh my gosh hi and she's got two boys one who's caleb's age so they have like been playing and having loads of fun together and then i met another person who i know her sister um so yeah it's just crazy but it's been really lovely so yeah we're off to dinner now i'm wearing an old um river island dress maybe i'll show you what it looks like um but yes yeah, really comfy and then we're gonna go to the entertainment after dinner which is such a highlight for the kids they do like music dancing quizzes and they just like hang out with their friends and they really enjoy it okay, so this is the dress that I'm wearing tonight you may have even seen it before on my channel it has like cut out sides and it's cut out around the back hopefully you can't tell I've been wearing one pieces so this part of me is a lot wider than the rest of me um, yeah that's what I'm wearing and I've got these earrings on as well so yeah we're off to dinner and I'm wearing Oh well, yeah, what is Matt wearing? Where is this top from? Is it new? Asos, black t-shirt, £10. I won't link it because you're not going to buy it. <laughs> Do you know what's annoying about you? Nothing. Just looks, Nothing. At, looks at the sun and he's got such a good tan. It's a spray tan. Have you? They've got a killer spray tan machine in the, in the lobby. <laughs> lobby. You look lovely. Right, shall we? Yeah. Let's go. I'm going to the adult only table for one. You wish. Do you want to? <laughs> Taking a shortcut. Huh? Taking a shortcut. So, yeah. Paths over here. <laughs> Just looking at that olive tree. There's olives on that tree. 
Caleb has found some kittens. Oh, they're scared, Bob. Come on, they come out. the entertainment now and quiz we came 34th in the quiz out of best it's our best <laughs> no it was actually joint 12th i think it's actually the best we've ever ever done in the quiz because one of the rounds was about uk football clubs so we got like every one of those right um so yeah we actually did quite well for us and now we're back basically our routine is go to the entertainment like go for dinner go to the entertainment come home and play cards so we normally play uno or go fish grabola. Um, or grabola so we're playing go fish tonight um so yeah have you got hot dogs or legs i have i'm not legs. asking about the game <laughs> i actually i actually don't have that one no go fish oh <gasps> your turn falling asleep okay your turn Aww. Go to bed. Dad, do throw back Thursday. Hi guys, so today we're actually going to do like a bit of an excursion. So I thought I would film it and show you guys what we're doing. Basically, for the past week we've pretty much just been swimming, sunbathing, like enjoying the pool and stuff. But today it's a little bit overcast, so we were like, it's the perfect opportunity to actually go and do something. So we're going to see some caves. I think it's called cave drac as drac. in like dracula um and it's like the best caves on the island or something it's the biggest underwater no yeah. biggest underground lake as well so yeah we have no idea what it's going to be like but we thought it would be really cool so i'll show you what it's like <laughs> spiked on the thing and they drip water down. Yeah, I don't know if you able to see. I literally just got so much water on my arm. <laughs> it is so cool and it's really nice and cold down here. It's really dark. But look, can you believe this is like a real thing? So we've just walked through the caves and now we've sat down to some kind of show. Like music and boats. Yeah, music and boats. Yeah, it's quite creepy. Very cool. Guys, do you know it's like Avatar in here? Yeah. Yeah. The morning light, the morning light. Far away, far away until you're out of sight. You're out of sight. We're all wet now because it is raining. <laughs> the weather was correct. So we just came out of the caves and it was just pouring down with rain. Now we're waiting for the bus. Um, and we're gonna go, I think we go past the port and then we can go back to our hotel. So we're not sure exactly what we're gonna do because it is still raining, but the caves were really, really good. The kids thought it was really cool. There were all these like amazing rocks inside, like the ceiling was so cool. I hope you guys could see it because you weren't allowed to use flash photography in there. So I was just thinking, is this even picking up? And then at the end, there was this huge like in the cave and they had these little boats come out 
and play music. There was like an orchestra, like a mini orchestra on it, wasn't there? Yeah, it's cute. But again, you weren't allowed to film it. I was like, oh, this is so cool, but I couldn't film it. You just it. have to go there to see so it So you're going to go there. It was weird. I've actually never been to an attraction where they're not like, you know, share it, tag it on social media. It was like, don't film, don't use flashes. Save like, the beauty. Yeah, it was very like strict. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys saw a little bit of it. Okay guys, it's a bit later on now and I've literally just been editing the video and I realized I didn't do an outro again. I've just taken off all my makeup, um, so excuse me. We're literally just getting ready for bed. I've got Fraser and Jackson in here tonight. It's the only thing about traveling as a family of five, like you have to split every evening. Um, let me know if you know any good hotels that fit all five people in one room but anyway i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video we have had such a lovely chilled out holiday like we've really relaxed it's been so nice like we've had so much nice food it's been really nice to just hang out with the kids every night and play cards it's made me think we definitely need to do more like game nights when we get home as well because we really don't do it that often but here we've been playing games like every night and just bonding and laughing and yeah, it's been really really fun going to the entertainment um so yeah we've had such a lovely time away so anyway i hope you like seeing just a little bit of our holiday and yeah thanks again and i'll see you in my next one bye guys bye bye <laughs> night